Welcome to Anime Lore Unveiled. My name is Greed, your one-stop destination for unraveling the intricate lore of your favorite animes. I am your guide, your narrator, your fellow explorer, as we delve into the fascinating depths of these animated worlds. Today we embark on a thrilling journey into the rugged, mountainous lands of the Kingdom anime. We'll explore the power dynamics of the mountain tribes, a world where the balance of power is as shifting and unpredictable as the terrain they inhabit. Each tribe, each leader, each warrior has a story to tell, a part to play in this intricate dance of power. So buckle up, dear viewers, as we set foot into the uncharted territories of tribal politics and unravel the hidden layers of strategy, leadership and unity that bind these tribes together. Remember, in the world of Kingdom, power isn't just about physical strength, but also about strategy, leadership and unity among the tribes. So, are you ready to embark on this exciting journey? Let's dive right in. Have you ever wondered about the intricate power dynamics that exist within the mountain tribes of the Kingdom anime? A world where the balance of power is as shifting and unpredictable as the mountainous terrain they inhabit. In the realm of Kingdom, power is the lifeblood that flows through the veins of the mountain tribes. It's the currency that determines their status, their influence, their very survival. But power in this world isn't just about physical strength. It's a complex tapestry woven with threads of strategy, leadership and unity. Each tribe, marked by distinct traditions and unique fighting styles, values power differently. For some, it's the raw, untamed power of a warrior in battle, their strength measured in the enemies they vanquish. For others, it's the power of a wise leader, their strength reflected in the respect and loyalty they command from their people. Yet, for all their differences, there's a common understanding among the tribes. They know that power isn't an end in itself. It's a means to secure their place in the harsh, unforgiving world of the mountains. To protect their people. To ensure their tribe's survival from one generation to the next. And this is where the true power dynamics come into play. Because in the mountains, power isn't just about who can swing the heaviest weapon. It's about who can forge the strongest alliances who can outmaneuver their opponents in the treacherous game of tribal politics, who can unite their people under a single banner. But remember, in the world of Kingdom, power is as fleeting as a mountain breeze. Today's hero could be tomorrow's fallen warrior. Today's mighty tribe could be tomorrow's forgotten memory. It's a world where the struggle for dominance never ends, where the battle for power is as relentless as the mountain winds. Power isn't just about physical strength, but also about strategy, leadership and unity among the tribes. And it's these elements that make the power dynamics of the mountain tribes in the Kingdom anime so captivating, so intensely fascinating. Now, let's delve deeper into the diverse tribes and their distinctive leaders. In the world of Kingdom, each mountain tribe is a microcosm of unique customs, fighting styles and leadership. The tribes, though seemingly similar in their quest for dominance, are distinct in their approach to power. This diversity is largely due to their leaders, who steer their tribes with their ideologies and strategic prowess. Firstly, we have the fierce Yotanwa tribe, led by the formidable Yotanwa herself. Yotanwa is a paragon of strength and wisdom, her leadership style marked by an unyielding resolve and a deep respect for her people. She navigates the treacherous terrain of power with a blend of brute force and keen intellect, setting a high bar for the other tribes. Next is the Heki tribe, led by the tenacious General Heki. Unlike Yotanwa, Heki leans more towards strategy and diplomacy. His ability to rally his troops and forge unlikely alliances makes him a force to be reckoned with. Heki's leadership exudes resilience, a testament to his tribe's unyielding spirit in the face of adversity. The third tribe is the Figo tribe, under the leadership of the burly Figo king. Known for their brute strength and fearlessness, the Figo tribe's approach to power is more direct. They charge headfirst into battle, their war cries echoing through the mountains. Figo King's leadership style is simple yet effective strength rules. Last but not least, we have the Mera tribe, led by the enigmatic Mera. Mera's leadership style is shrouded in mystery, much like the tribe itself. Their approach to power is as elusive as their forested home, making them unpredictable and formidable opponents. Each tribe, under their leader's guidance, has a unique approach to power, making the struggle for dominance a complex and fascinating dynamic. 
Interestingly, each tribe's fighting style is a reflection of their ideology and their leader's influence. In the world of kingdom, the mountain tribes are not merely groupings of warriors. Instead, they are complex societies, each with their unique philosophies, customs, and tactics that manifest in their approach to warfare. For instance, the Say tribe, known for their guerrilla warfare, utilize the terrain to their advantage. Their tactics echo their belief in adaptability and coexistence with nature. They see the mountain as an ally, not a barrier. By making use of the environment, they turn the mountain's harshness into a strategic advantage, displaying their resilience and resourcefulness. On the other hand, the Gu tribe takes a more direct approach. With their brute strength and indomitable will, they epitomize the philosophy of power through force. They believe that the strongest should lead, a belief that translates into an aggressive, head-on fighting style. Their leader's influence is evident in their tenacity and fearlessness in the face of adversity. Contrastingly, the Ryo tribe employs a more strategic and calculated approach. They value intellect and strategy over brute force, reflecting their belief in wisdom as the true path to power. Their complex formations and coordinated attacks serve as a testament to their leader's tactical brilliance and the tribe's respect for intellect. Lastly, the Koku tribe, known for their stealth and precision, embody the ideology of patience and precision. They operate under the cover of darkness, striking when least expected. This approach mirrors their understanding of power as something that doesn't always need to be visible or overtly demonstrated. These unique fighting styles not only determine their battle strategies, but also reflect their deeper beliefs and attitudes towards power. In the world of kingdom, power is not just about physical strength or territory. It's an extension of one's beliefs, values and ideologies. And in the battle for dominance among the mountain tribes, these ideologies are put to the ultimate test. The struggle for dominance isn't merely a physical battle, but a battle of wits, strength and strategy. In the world of the kingdom anime, the mountain tribes fight for control over their rugged terrain is as much a chess match as it is a contest of brute force. The mountainous regions are a strategic goldmine, a natural fortress that offers protection and a vantage point. They are the high ground, literally and figuratively. To control these regions is to hold the reins of power. The tribes understand this all too well and thus, their battle tactics are defined not merely by force, but by shrewdness and strategy. Each tribe, each leader brings to the battlefield a unique blend of cunning and courage. We see the interplay of strategic planning and power dynamics, where a well-placed strike can shift the balance of power, where a clever ruse can turn the tide of battle. The tribe's leaders are not just warriors, they are strategists, their minds as sharp as their weapons. And yet, amidst the intricate web of plans and power plays, there is a third element at work, tribal unity. The tribes, diverse as they are, are bound together by a shared sense of identity, a common cause. This unity is their strength, their shield against the chaos of conflict. It is this unity that allows them to stand firm, even when the ground beneath them shakes with the thunder of war. It's a delicate balance, this dance of dominance, a balance between the brute force of warriors, the cunning of strategists, and the unity of the tribe. A balance that makes the struggle for control over the mountain regions not just a battle, but a fascinating game of power and strategy. And so, the mountain tribes wage their wars, their battles echoing across the rugged landscape. They fight not just for control, but for survival, for the right to stand tall on the high ground. The struggle for dominance is a fascinating blend of strategy, power and unity, making the mountain tribes storyline an intriguing aspect of the kingdom anime. The mountain tribes of the kingdom anime offer a captivating study of power dynamics and the struggle for dominance. As we journeyed through the diverse tribal landscape, we discovered their unique identities, each marked by distinct leadership styles and fighting techniques. From the fierce warriors of the Yotanwa tribe to the agile assassins of the Heki tribe, every tribe adds a unique flavor to the grand saga of the mountain kingdom. The struggle for dominance is not merely a clash of swords, but also a battle of wits. The mountainous terrain, with its treacherous cliffs and concealed paths, offers strategic advantages to those who can master its secrets. The tribes that control these regions possess not only the high ground in battle, but also the upper hand in the power dynamics of the kingdom. In this intricate dance for dominance, 
we see a reflection of the tribe's ideologies. The Yotanwa tribe, for instance, values unity and cooperation, while the Heki tribe prizes individual skill and prowess. These ideologies shape their strategies, their alliances and their aspirations, adding depth to their characters and complexity to their conflicts. But amidst this chaos and conflict, the tribes share a common goal. Survival. Their unity in the face of external threats, their resilience in the harshest of conditions, and their indomitable spirit are a testament to their determination and strength. In conclusion, the power dynamics of the mountain tribes in the Kingdom anime are not just a spectacle of epic battles and heroic feats. They are a study in strategy, leadership, unity, and determination. They reveal the complexities of power, the nuances of leadership, and the beauty of unity and diversity. Through this exploration, we see that power is not just about physical strength, but a complex interplay of strategy, leadership, unity, and determination, making the Mountain Tribe storyline a thrilling and engaging aspect of the Kingdom anime. If you've been captivated by this deep dive into the power dynamics of the Kingdom anime's Mountain Tribes, then we have a whole universe waiting for you. Don't forget to subscribe to Anime Lore Unveiled and join our community of lore chasers. By subscribing, you'll be the first to see our detailed explorations into the vast world of anime. From uncovering the secrets of the most obscure tribes to analyzing the strategies of legendary warriors, we leave no stone unturned. You'll also be able to engage with fellow anime enthusiasts, share theories and engage in stimulating discussions. So, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon for notifications, and let's continue this journey together into the fascinating world of anime lore. Stay tuned, stay curious, and as always, keep exploring.